This is Secret of the Slaver's Stockade on Elysium. Your search for the slave lords has led to a large fortress complex deep in the wilderness. The clatter and clang of armor can be heard from down the hallway. The clamor of creatures preparing for battle can be heard from the next room. So the one thing I notice is that these these uh, enemies still seem like they have a lot more hit points than uh, other level eight enemies did. Even the outer level. courtyard is used as a mustering point. The slavers meet before going out on raids. <laughs> to take positions on the platforms above. So I'd like to get the set bonus, um, five piece set bonus ideally. But I don't think we're going to be able to get enough mats. I have almost enough mats for three pieces, but I'd have to run number one several more times to get uh, to get the pieces I need. I think I might actually be set. What's he set on? Great. So one thing is uh, my spot did not tech was not detecting the traps in this one on uh, hard and sometimes in the normal. So I am over the level, but still feel good that the spot's working better. Uh, this is of all the places we experienced, this was the highest uh, spot checks, you know, DC checks of any of the quests. <laughs> I mean, we've gained a lot of power in these three levels. We're not exactly, uh, we're not exactly like having to kind of duck and do a lot of tactics. The parade to avoid stand is the last stage of the round before troops enter the stockade. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm not sure we would want to do this on our reaper level, but certainly we can handle this one on lead. The parade grounds give way to a small inner courtyard with a working fountain and good repair. The end fight this one and the other one are interesting. So, um, she has a big force damage. Damage, and I think you know, I'll probably do the same thing there before, which is range and then charge when she does a big attack. I don't know if it's on a timer, but it seems like she does it somewhat infrequently.
And the next one I'll probably use my poison cloak for because uh, Gnarls just does, does tons of poison damage. The inner keep houses the remainder of the troops and serves to protect the entrance to the dungeon below. I definitely want to build a gear set around level eight, but you know now I'm level thirteen. I'm already starting to think that pulling the lever unlocks a door from, nearby. Uh, this gear and look for a different gear replacement set. I'm not sure if that'll be Ravenloft or Sharn or something else because Ravenloft is ten. It's not going to be much better than what we have. If anything, we might just supplement a piece or two. So there's my spot working again. So I'm feeling good about that. I think we've you know I think the changes. Uh, the lesser, the lesser heart, getting the better spot, a little better wisdom. That gives us just what we need for, for spot check. Uh, and this, this quest on level eight is probably more difficult than a lot of the level nine quests. The in terms of energy hit points, DC checks, and everything. Mounted on a track, so, a trick uh, used to frighten of course, and confuse intruders. We pull out a little, a little bit of our to it, but There's a still feel good that we're doing that. And an enchanted crystal lights up. Roar. The second lever is pulled. A rush of air can be felt as the doors down the hallway open. Roar, 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 roar. I, I, have, I, I might be remembering wrong, but I'm pretty sure that after we get the third one done, we'll at least have a reset bonus. I think I was like one short of a preset bonus, but I just didn't feel like running with labors anymore. Just chain anymore. I, so many, I ran it so many times at level 10, and it was pretty tough. This mirror is used to make trespassers believe there are more defenders than there really are. The lever is pulled, and a crystal lights up nearby. The sound of a gate grinding open can be heard in the distance. Then come frenzied shouts that grow closer with every second. Slave cages line the walls of this large complex. A control cage can be seen on the far end of the room. The moment you enter, slaves plead to be released from captivity. So this was kind of tough at level 10. I remember getting just pummeled by these guy, these uh, archers. See how see, see if it's just as bad before, or if it's a little better. Seems a little better. Definitely feels a little a lot better. Now I've got my big heal, 252. So that was just with my cure moderate with a. Um, Pure, pure moderate with a uh, power heal on. Oops. That's better than we were having before. I don't know what's going on here, but 
didn't seem to want to fight back, so there he goes. A key marked control cell door drops from the jailer's pocket. That was kind of funny, whatever was going on there. Let's see. Those resistance. Really looking for some good light armor with death block. If I can get that, I'd be very happy. I should maybe take a look at and see if there's any named armor with death block that I might be able to get as well. Inside the cage are several that, levers. It seems likely that they control the doors to the slave cells. third lever is pulled, and the remaining slave... The door barring your exit swings open as the lever is pulled. We'll turn around there. Nope, but I still turn around. Let's see. Where, let me go back to where I was. And here. Okay, this should be the way. Yep, it's all right. These are the officers' quarters and works who guard this area. A lever with an open jet is mounted on the back. Oh, demon soul. Bad news. My acid resist on. a loud click and two doors swing open the sound of chatter can be heard from deeper within the fortress Make it through this one last fight. This large dining hall serves as a gathering place for the fort's troops. Ikar, the commander of the fort, stands ready to make a final stand. Okay. 
guys hitting me for... He got a big hit in there earlier, but not much now. As your card falls, the door opens to reveal a passageway leading deeper into the fortress. Five rings, no uh, mythic bonus. Or I guess mythic bonuses don't come on here, only reaper bonuses, so we wouldn't get those running at elite. So we've got a few cold blocks to fill up here, and then we're a going passageway to leading down to the dungeon below. No doubt Marquesa and the rest of her conspirators, this hallway serves as the entrance to the fortress's dungeon. Marquesa must be somewhere inside. Invisible force pulls the metallic object you're wearing upwards to the force pulling you towards the ceiling suddenly stops. Such a benefit here to be able to spot these traps before I, I take damage, before my hireling dies. Uh, I forgot to try my hireling, it looks like. Alright, we're not too far back, so I'm going to go back and try it. I sort of, I'm in the habit of just clicking and, and then I'm not paying attention. It seems like I've not had uh, good luck with doing that and getting the hireling to actually shrine. Hmm, must have. I don't think I noticed this before. Filled with spider webs. The soft sound of weeping can be heard from a nearby room.
various grim looking devices are scattered throughout this torture chamber. Folds you as the door opens. This hallway connects with a natural cavern that leads deeper into the subterranean complex. The door opens to reveal a large chasm. The glint of two different gems can be seen down on the cavern floor. A lot of booze is down here and sort of fighting. With the door unsealed, you may continue into the caverns below. I'm gonna leave that one guy there. He was on a small island. I was close to the jump and have it on our way back up again. Rumbling sound can be heard from the corridor above. A soft buzzing sound can be heard as you approach the door. Bees swarm near their hives. Surely this room is for making honey. You should be safe, unless... Definitely gonna use all the cleaves in this one.
The door rolls open, revealing a small settlement built into the very wall of the cave. Three defensive positions inside this massive town. You need to destroy these strong points before you can continue further. The last of the outpost's defenders falls. the barracks have been defeated. You spot a female elf matching Marquesa's description leaving through a portal. The creatures spring forward to protect her escape. Portal barring your path fades when you pull this lever. We need a shrine before the end fight, but I think we could just do that up up ahead. Backwards the end fight. this one. A gaunt creature stands at the end of the hallway, looking at you nervously. But I also had my heroes and potion off, so I don't know if that was the difference, but... Blackthorn springs back and makes ready for battle.
find a key to a nearby door. Sound of scuffling guards and agitated prisoners comes from the room to your right. door. Slaves emerge from their cells and escape. Since that trap, which spot? Before you stands Juliet, Marquess's assistant. Juliet curses you as she falls to the ground. Head back to the shrine over here. And even with all these guys kind of blasting, we should be able to find a spot with the shrine in here. Spotted this one either, so that's two. I, mean, I mostly made mostly spotted them and missed two. So much better, but uh, still not a no fail spot. Marquesa awaits your arrival inside this well appointed room. Double is dead. 
No longer in thrall to the mad woman who remade her in her own image. Now, to find the real Marquesa. Before you stands a powerful Minotaur, ready to defend Marquesa to its dying breath. Still a fairly tough fight with those stones. Marquesa, the slave lord, stands before you. Some kind of object is encased in a magical field behind her. Got some big force attack to try to try to. to search for clues that might lead to the slave lord's damage, primary though. stronghold. So this is over? Let's see if, um... There, that fixes it. Marked on the map is a cave that leads to the Slaver City. And that is a Surely of the this must be the Slave Lord's uh, main base.